So welcome back to the channel everyone, Triple M here, and today we're taking a look at the Aper Seagull Pro Robotic Pool Cleaner. For anyone that owns a pool, especially if you maintain it yourself, you gotta brush it every once in a while, and that can be really backbreaking work. So a pool cleaner like this is gonna take all the guesswork out, and it's gonna allow you to enjoy your pool throughout the summer. So this, in my opinion, is the best pool vacuum cleaner that I've reviewed so far, at least. Ton of features built in, quad motor system, smart navigation, and this lasts up to 180 minutes. So this video, we're gonna quickly unbox it, get it in the water, test out these features. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Let's go. So before we jump into the unboxing, big shout out to Aper for sponsoring this video. Of course, all links will be placed in the description of this video. So first thing in the box, we're going to have a tips car. This is going to basically just get you started. Go over some of the main points about battery safety, storage, and so on and so forth. Pretty straightforward. All of it is one card. Now we're going to have a nice piece of art, I like to call it. As you can see there, it does have the vacuum itself. Nice piece, I believe, that I think I'm going to um, hold on to. We also have an envelope, but let's see what's inside. And inside the envelope, we're going to have a couple different things. So first, we're going to have the user manual. Uh, this is going to be your Bible for this vacuum. This is going to show you how to pull it out, show you how to put it in, go over what the different settings are, how to empty it, how to clean it. So definitely take a reach and take too long. And we are going to have some of the frequently asked questions. Uh, this is going to be in a couple different languages. Next, we have a retrieval hook and we have the charger in the same box. So cool thing about this, it does come with a hook where you can reach in on your regular pool stick, grab it by the front, pull it all the way up, then you can grab it with your hand. So pretty straightforward. Love that this was included in the box and it just makes retrieving the seagull a lot easier. Next, we're gonna have the charging brick and this is a big boy. Remember that this is fast charging. Uh, this is gonna get you fully charged in 90 minutes, which is faster than most of the other pool cleaners that I've reviewed in the past. So next, we're gonna have the Seagull Pro and this thing is a beauty. So if you're someone who's into automobiles, motorcycles, just the curve, the lines, the spoiler, uh, just the overall design, I think Aper did a really good job just making sure that this was not only functional in your pool, but also aesthetically pleasing. So big Aper branded in the front, four nice big wheels, Aper logo on there as well, two brushes in the front. The front is going to have the area where you actually hook to retrieve this. And if you go up top, you can see the motors. So this is going to be a quad motor system, uh, which uh, we'll go over a little bit more. Some of the specifications there. Nice spoiler in the back. And this spoiler either looks like carbon fiber or it is. But whatever it is, nice look. Uh, to open it, just kind of flip the back up. You can see the container inside. And as far as the dials, this is probably as simple as I've seen on a robotic cleaner. So you have three different modes. You have the main power. So when you turn all the way up, it's off. Turn it once, that means that it's cleaning both the sides and the walls. Turn it down, you can see that's only clean in the bottom. And if you turn it, you can see that only cleans the side. Very simple, I love that this was simplified because other cleaners, like I said, uh, overcomplicated how to get in different cleaning modes and there's an app involved, but this one really just makes it easy to dial in what you want to do and just drop it in the water and it does its thing. As far as the filtration system, this incorporates a large capacity filter basket that efficiently traps debris, leaves, particles as small as two microns. This ensures that all impurities from your pool is removed and not just leaves, but also sand, the gravel, and uh, also just some of the smaller particles that you wouldn't normally be able to get just using a brush. To remove the top of that is pretty straightforward. Just flip the tab, the tap will come out. You can see in Inside the basket, there's a sealing mechanism that allows you to suck the water in, but it doesn't let debris back out. And as far as getting it back in, you flip the top, set it back in the cleaner, push it down, and you're all set. This does have a four-wheel drive motor system. Again, different from most of the vacuums that we've seen in the past where there's a belt involved, but I think this design just makes for less maintenance and it probably makes it easier to do repairs if needed. As far as underneath, you can see this is designed in a way that essentially funnels all the debris into that suction area. So goes from wide to narrow. And once it get caught, everything should be sucked into the vacuum and into the basket. All right, so it does have some notes underneath. So charge your device indoors and not turn it on while it's charging for swimming pools only. <laughs> Essentially do not run the device out of water. Um, so pretty much self-explanatory, but 
I'm sure that's there for a reason. As far as the rollers, they do correspond with the wheel. So the right front wheel is gonna go with the right roller and the left one is gonna go with the left. Of course, not only picks up debris off the ground while it's rolling, but also cleans the side and the water line. And we'll get into that here in a little bit. So the charging port is gonna be on the side and this is sealed by a rubber plug. So remove the plug, then you can go ahead and plug the charger in. Looking at the dial, you do have three different battery levels that you should take into consideration. So green means that it's 90% or above. Blue means that it's 50 to 89%. Yellow means that it's 10 to 49%. And red means that it's less than 9%. So that's something to keep in mind as far as just looking at the device uh, at a glance just to know where it is. Now once the device is fully charged, put that rubber plug back in and it should be good to go ahead and start using. Now while we're here, let's go ahead and talk about the battery. Now this is an improved battery, not only to Aper, but also to some of the most popular robotic vacuum cleaners that's out there. So this has a built in 900 milliamp hour battery that is capable of cleaning up to 180 minutes. That's an increased battery life compared to other devices. As far as the charge time, we were looking at about 90 minutes, so hour and a half to charge, and you get 180 minutes of runtime. As far as loading the cleaner in the actual pool, remember, put that rubber plug back in, then you can turn it to your desired mode. Now, the quad motor system is the world's first implementation of a dual drain motor and a dual suction motor being applied to a cordless robotic cleaner. Now, with this, you're going to be able to move a lot of water move water and move it fast. So the Seagull Pro pumps up to 130 gallons per minute, allowing it to collect and trap more debris from leaves to dirt to pebbles to sticks and anything else that's at the bottom of your pool. Now this uses wave pad navigation to allow the pool vacuum to work under fixed patterns rather than traditional random patterns. So if you look at the pool, it is going back and forth, but every time it moves, it goes over maybe a slot just to make sure it doesn't miss anything. Now with the intelligent wave path pattern, this covers more of your pool, uses less energy, and the cordless design means that there are no tangle cores, no messy complicated accessories. Just simply drop the vacuum in your pool and you're all set. Now once it's in automatic mode, which cleans both the sides and the bottom uh, what it'll do is it'll clean the bottom of the pool first uh, make its round there then it'll start with the sides so once it's done cleaning the floor on automatic mode it will start making its way up the walls then it'll scrub the water lines so if you take a look at what it's doing right now it goes all the way up scrub the water line comes back down move over go back up and start it all over again now the Seagull Pro will do this all the way around your pool until the cleaning is done. So fortunately for my pool, I don't have a lot of debris because I do have a screen around it. However, what I do see a lot of is rocks, dirt, grit, um, sand sometimes. And this could be just from heavy traffic or whatever the case is, but I seem to get a lot of that. I did also put some debris in there just to see how it'll handle. So first pass, it looked like it didn't catch everything, but just making its way back and forth. It actually picked up a lot more than expected and we'll show you what it collected during its first run here in a second. Now the Seagull Pro also has an automatic park and function. Now how this works is once it's done cleaning your pool, once the battery is exhausted uh, you'll see it turn red but what it'll do is it'll come close to the edge of the pool and that just makes it a lot easier for you reaching and get it as you can see here getting it is pretty straightforward i do have my pool stick connected with a hook i was able to simply reach in hook the cleaner and pull it out now the seagull pro does have rapid water release and what this does is incorporate some channels into the robotic cleaner that allows water to actually run out of it a lot faster once i was able to pull it out pop the hatch and pull the filter unit out. And you can see the amount of debris that was retrieved from the pool. So just at a glance, the pool looks really clean. They're screened in, but some of those smaller um, particles, pebbles, you don't really see. And this is what the Seagull Pro was able to capture. So once you clean it is done, you pull the basket out, unlatch the basket, bring it to your closest water hole, sink, whatever you prefer, spray it out, put it back in the robotic cleaner, put it back on the charger and you'll be ready to go for the next cleaning. So overall, I was really impressed with this unit. Uh, really don't have anything negative to say about it. Battery life is awesome. Just the way it methodically moves around your pool, really impressed by it. And the fact that this is simple to use, three basic modes, use the dial to get to those modes, just makes 
my life a lot easier. So if you're looking for a hassle-free pool maintenance solution that delivers exceptional cleaning results, the Apro Seagull Pro Robotic Cleaner is an investment that's worth considering. If you guys have any questions, drop it in the comments below. Also, I will be leaving a link where you can go ahead and check it out, along with any discounts that may be available. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.